呃，非常高兴今天有机会到美丽的密西根大学，呃，做演讲。呃，感谢我的呃翻译，拉达，祝婷小姐。I'm very glad to be here to be this beautiful campus to give it this presentation about Tang Xianzu. I'm also great. Uh, I would like to thank you, uh, my uh, translator, uh, Ms. Ting Su. We know Tang Xianzu is a Chinese 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 很快就家传户送，几令西乡减价，幽灵争歌舞之。所以从汤显祖的时代到现在四百年，四百多年，那么他一直在广大观众中传播，尤其是对广大的妇女产生了极大的影响，对杜丽娘命运的改善。Uh, Tang Xianzu is one of the most well-known uh, drama writer in China. He lives in the regime of uh, Wan Li uh, of Ming Dynasty in 1598 and create a lot of legendary theater such as uh, Mu Dan Ting. Uh, as soon as this, uh, this very famous drama piece Mu Dan Ting was created, uh, it was very popular among hundreds and thousands of uh, families. And it almost uh, lead to the uh, price reduce of uh, the other famous uh, piece called Xi Xiang. And also, there are a lot of very good and uh, famous actors and actresses. They compete to perform uh, Mu Dan Ting. And also, since then, uh, Tang Xianzu has been uh, very uh, popular among the um, ordinary audience and also especially among the female audiences. 比如当时有一个楼江丽人叫玉二娘,她非常喜欢牡丹亭,然后晚份断肠而死,死的时候只有十七岁。uh, for instance, there's a beauty from Lojiang called Yu Yarniang, and she is very uh, interested and or you can say is addicted to the uh, drama Mu Dan Ting and she even died uh, because of it at the age of 17. 还有一个广宁女子, 她叫冯小青, 也是非常喜欢牡丹亭, 在她不幸的婚姻, 使她更加忧郁的时候死去了。那么在死之前,她留下了一个绝句, 冷雨幽窗不可听,挑灯先看牡丹亭,人间亦有吃我者,岂如伤心,是小青. And there's another, another sad example. Uh, there's a girl called uh, Feng Xiaoqing from Guangling. She also enjoyed reading Mu Dan Ting, but she also died because of her miserable marriage and uh, left a uh, poetry. Um, we, uh, I cannot listen to the cold, uh, cold rain uh, outside the deep and dark window. Uh, I would rather to read Mu Dan Ting under my light. And uh, the people like me in this world, um, uh, am I the only one who is sad? There's a Hangzhou called Shang Xiaoling. She is very good at Mu Dan Ting. But she is also sleeping in the middle of it. 有一天，他正演着寻梦这一者，突然间就倒地，然后演春香的小姑娘上去一看，她已经气绝了。So yeah, there's another famous actress uh, from Hangzhou called uh, Shang Xiaoling, and she's especially good at playing the part of uh, Du Li Niang. Uh, therefore, she uh, she addicted to this this uh, drama and become very depressed about the uh, the plots. And one day when she is playing the scene in search of the dreams, uh, she cry with uh, she um, cry with tears on her face and she lean on the floor and the the female uh, actress uh, the play the maid uh, go to see her and saw her already died. 还有一个不知姓名的丽江女子，还有一个知道姓名的金凤殿。
，他们都是非常喜欢《牡丹亭》，那么都想将自己托付于汤显祖。可是，一听说汤显祖是一个老头了，他们就非常的绝望。啊，于是前面这个内江女子呢，就投河自尽了。另外一个女子呢，在死之前。就留下遗嘱，说一定要把汤显祖的这个《牡丹亭》跟我陪葬，勿为我志。It's very hard to translate that version, but I will try my best. So there are another two、uh, examples. One of the girls is from Neijiang, and the other girl is from Yangzhou, named、uh, Jin Fengdian. And they both love Mu Danting、uh, very much. So they want, they both want to marry、uh, Tang Xianzu. But what,、um, the unknown girl wants to know、uh, Tang Xianzu is a pretty old man. She is desperate and、uh, kill herself, drown herself. So the other one,、uh, the Jin. Uh, from Yangzhou, and she said,、um, I, "I really want to see this brilliant guy. I, I, otherwise, I couldn't die with my、uh, eyes closed. So, if I die, I want to bring Mu Danting with me.、Uh, in this way, I can show my love to Mu Danting." 那么，牡丹亭究竟写了一个什么如此让人伤感的故事呢？这个故事发生在南宋末年，光宗年间。那么，南安太守。这个杜宝，他为了使自己的女儿将来能够出入他人家知书达理，他就请来了一个六十岁的俘虏陈醉良。呃、uh, ，so what is this uh interesting uh drama talks about? So it talks about、uh, a story happened in uh Guangzhou regime of the Song Dynasty, and there is a perfecter named Du Bao from uh Nanan. Perfect, and she, uh, his、um, only daughter Du Li Niang, uh, for Du Bao, uh, the only dream for him is her daughter Du Li Niang can marry to someone else home and become a very, uh, good wife with proper attitude and also share the glory, um, with uh the daughter. So, uh, he invited a sixty uh years old uh. Decadent、uh, Confucian called、um, Chen Zuiliang to teach her daughter about Confucian. This Chen Zuiliang is indeed a servant. He repeatedly took the exam for the fifth time. We know that in the past, taking the exam for three years was only for three years. Fifth time is for forty-five years. He took the exam for fifty-five years and still didn't pass. Yeah, so、uh, Professor Zhou gave us an example why we call that、uh, that teacher.、Uh, <coughs> Decadent、uh, Confucian because he started his、um, way to the、uh, examination at the age of fifteen, and then he pursuing this examination for another forty five years, but still didn't get、um, into the uh, oh, oh, the <laughs> official list. So it's quite disappointed for him. But that's the only way he can teach the the girl at home. 我们知道，我们中国最早的诗集就是《诗经》，它的第一首是非常有名，叫《关关雎鸠，在河之洲》，窈窕淑女，君子好逑。呃、uh, ，so， 呃，陈陈醉良，呃、uh, ，the the first piece he taught the girl， 杜丽娘 ，is the the very first piece of， 呃、uh,。Chinese canon, uh, in uh, Chunqiu called uh, Shi Jing, uh, the songs. So, uh, the the one she bring to Du Li Niang named uh, Guan Ju, and then it talks about the uh the the fish bird uh singing at the side of a river, and、uh, beautiful ladies they are good uh they are the dreams of the <laughs> <laughs> dreams of the. Uh, a gentleman's. 那么这个，呃，杜丽娘呢，实际上她非常明白，并不像这个陈醉良所讲的，这首诗就是无邪诗，而是一个爱情诗。刚才楚小姐已经翻译了。那么，这个杜丽娘在她的春香丫头的带领下，到了后花园。这个后花园姹紫嫣红，满目春色，一下子就让他非常的感叹，觉得天哪！我今已经二八年龄了，可是我还没有一个自己的恩婿，没有自己的如意郎君，所以他非常的感伤。
Yeah, so uh, Du Liniang was guided by her maid, Chun Xiang, to the back garden of his home. And when he saw the blossoming and the beautiful garden, she just realized, oh my god, I've already been uh, 16, and I haven't have a, uh, found my visual man, so I'm wasting my youth. So she feel very sad about it. So she went to the room and <laughs> then she go back to her uh, room and start dreaming. Uh, this is the scene uh, when the uh, Du Liniang came back to her room and started to draw in circle. And this, this, uh, this piece is played by a very famous uh, Japanese uh, uh, performer, Ban Yu San Long. Yeah. Male or female? Oh, male. Male. How, we will see the next one. This is the one that Yu Zhenfei and Mei Lan Fang are playing. This is the So this is a, a video clip of uh, Mei Lan Fang and Yu Zhenxiang. They play this meeting scene together. Yeah, this, uh, this young guy named uh, Liu, and once they met each other for the first time, they fall in love. So the, the female part is Mei Lan Fang, and the male uh, part is uh, Yu Zhenxiang. <laughs> yeah, I've been searching. <laughs> yeah, I've been searching for beauty like you, and I finally found you uh, in my in the stream. So this is after all this praises to the beautiful uh, Du Du Liniang, so this uh, scho young scholar uh, bring her uh, his new lover to uh, Mudan, uh, the Mudan Ting, uh, to the side of Mudan Ting and the uh, Xiaoyao fans, and then they made love there. Okay. 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 Mudan go to the other side to have some conversation. This film was filmed in 
So Mainland Farm at that time is already 65 years old. 正在做的这个美梦啊，突然间，杜丽娘的母亲把她唤醒了，真的一下子就惊了梦。这就是所谓南柯一梦，让这个杜丽娘极其的失落。So, uh, at this very beautiful moment of her dream, uh, she, uh, 杜丽娘 was woken up by her mother, and、uh, she is very, um, disappointed because of this. 哎，这就是明代的插图惊梦。然后第二天，杜丽娘就不让春香陪着了，她自己独自一人又跑到后花园去寻这个梦。哎，这也是古代的插图，寻这个梦。So, uh, the next day, uh, 杜丽娘 by herself go to that secret garden to uh search her dream again. But uh, uh, she searched many many times, but the dream already gone. So he came back extremely sad. 可是寻来寻去都不见了，好伤感哟。哈<笑>，啊，自此呢，杜丽娘就非常的抑郁，天天在呼唤我的人呢，呼唤那个小生，竟相思成病。那么，突然间发现镜子中的自己瘦去了九分九啊，他知道自己快死了，于是就让春香拿来了丹青，拿来了。捐树，他在这个丹青，用这个丹青在这个捐树上将自己的春容，就是面容画下来，然后在上面题诗，然后将它放在一个匣子里，在死之前，让春香一定要把它放在那个太湖石下，让他的母亲将他死了以后的尸体放在后花园的梅树之下。Um, after uh, she can, she could not uh, find her man, she, so she always have bad dreams and said,、uh, "Where's my man? Where's my man?" And、uh, after that, she got sick. And when once she looked the mirror, she saw herself already extremely thin. And then she knows she is going to die. So she、um, called her maid, Chun Xiang, to bring some、uh, writing brush and plain silk. To、uh, draw a self-portrait and then write a po-、uh, poetry on on this painting, and then uh, in uh, in uh, midnight, she、uh, Du Liliang、uh, was died, and then before she died, she told Chun Xiang to bury this、uh, this self-portrait under a Taihu、uh, Taihu Shan stone、uh, in the secret garden, and also told her mom to bury her. Uh, and her、uh, plum tree in also in that garden. 真是苍天有眼呐、啊！真有这么一个广州来的小生，叫柳梦梅的，去临安考试，果然就来到了这个兰安府，来到了这个当时杜宝为他的姑娘修筑的这个庵里边。然后他在这个院子里转，就突然间发现了杜丽娘留下的那个春容画。他就拿回去一看，是个美人坯子呀，然后就把它挂在家里的房上，那个那个床上，不停的天天的呼唤呢、啊，叫他美人美人姐姐姐姐。So, uh, there there is um a young scholar uh called Liu Mengmei from Hangzhou go to Linan for the examination, and when he passed by uh Nanan Perfect, uh he. Uh, so、he lived in Du Bao,、uh, Du Bao's home,、uh, where Du Li Niang's、um, uh, Du Li Niang's picture in. And one one day, when he wandered in that secret garden, he found that、uh, box containing the、uh, the self portrait of Du Li Niang. And、uh, he he all of a sudden he saw this、uh, beauty and bring that uh, po- uh, this uh, picture back to his own home、uh, home and.、Uh, Uh, just、um, uh, near his bed, and every day he worship this、uh, very beautiful painting. Du Li Niang 在阴间待了三年，突然间有一天，他的鬼魂就游到了这个庵里，他就突然间听见里边有人在喊姐姐、姐姐、美人、美人。他一看是个小生，他好感动啊，于是进去就两个人欢会在一起。So at the same time, Li Niang has already been in the hell for uh, uh, six years, and uh, uh, when her ghost 
came back to the uh, to the small temple uh, his father built for her. Uh, she encountered uh, this Liu Meng Mei and uh, watching her uh, her painting. So she was deeply touched and uh, meet uh, Liu Liu Meng Mei. 那么，杜丽娘啊，非常诚实，就向柳梦梅承认，她说：“我告诉你，我是一个鬼呀，一下子把这个柳梦梅吓得半死。”So, uh, Du Liang is very honest. So, so he, uh, she told, uh, Liu, Liu Meng Mei that she is a ghost. <laughs> ghost. But, uh, yeah, but Liu, uh, so the Liu Meng Mei was terrified by this truth. 但是。呃，柳梦梦虽然很害怕，可是她实在是太喜欢这个美人了，所以当杜丽娘要求她去挖坟掘棺的时候，她还是下定决心一定要做这件事，一定要把她心中的美人解救出来。so uh, even uh, Liu Meng is extremely afraid of this ghost um, lover, but he still make his mind to dig um, uh, Du Liang's body out of her tomb and uh, uh, rescue this beauty and then they can live uh, together in the future. 哎, 这就是去, 呃, 挖坟掘, 掘关, 呃, 终于把这个杜丽娘唤醒, so he tried his best to awake uh, Du Liang and then they you, uh, reunite with Du Liang and Du Liang's uh, parents. 那么这样一个惊天动地的故事, 汤显祖在牡丹亭的题记里写下了下面这段话。天下女子有情你有如杜丽娘者乎孟其人既病病既迷连至手画形容传一世而后死死三年矣复能民国中求得其所梦者而生如丽娘者乃可谓之有情人耳情不自说己一往而生生者可以死死可以生。嗯，这个是三页，第二页。第三页。第三页。来，接着。哦，OK。Yeah. So as Tang Xianzu, uh, uh, write in the uh top sentence of Mu Dan Ting. So, uh, there are a lot of people. Uh, there are a lot of women have uh, love, but is there anyone like Du Li Niang? So um, once she dreamed of uh, the man, she got sick. And after she got sick, uh, she uh, almost died. And, uh, and she had to draw a picture of herself to make this uh, to her man. But after, six, uh, after uh, three years, uh, she... Um, She re she reborn uh, in her dream and like uh, Du Li Niang, uh, anyone like Du Li Niang can be called a, a woman or a man with uh, love. So we don't know where this love come from, but it can be, but it can last forever. And this love can make uh, dead people, uh, live people die, but can also make dead people uh, live. 这个惊天地泣鬼神的故事，之所以让天下的女子如此伤感，是因为杜丽娘的经历和天下女子的经历有相同的一种遭际。uh, the reason Du Li Liang's story made so many people, uh, so many girls feel sad because Du Li Liang in some ways connected with all these young girls because of they share very similar uh, life experiences. Uh, let's see the uh, tenth scene of uh, Mu Dan Ting called Jing Meng. 
我下面要放一段儿梅兰芳演唱的这一段唱词，大家可以注意，梅兰芳唱到“谁家院”之后，后面的这个红字，他没有唱。我们看看这后面红字写的什么？这么美丽的，姹紫嫣红的后花园，可是这么好的景致，我老爷和奶奶再不提起。呃、uh, ，So Professor Zhou is going to show us this scene, u、uh, played by、uh, Mei Lan Fang. But we should uh, uh, pay attention to the right part, uh, which says all these beautiful、uh, sceneries, but、uh, my My host and my hostess, they refuse to talk about it to the young、uh, Du Liniang. 好，放这一段。Interesting. 又没了。嗯。又没了，又没了。啊。有没有老师？哎，这个是对。啊，有了，有了，好。哎，对。哎，原来差这些哈，对。这就是刚才那个投影，原来差这些红，开店。哎，对。你看，他这个地方，把这个，因为因为这个上去，有、哦，不不，再往上去，哎，对，就这个，他唱到这儿以后，后面的这个话就没有再演唱，而这个话是春香的插画，无论是青春版《牡丹亭》还是梅兰芳的这个本子，都把这个话删掉，可是这个话是多么重要的。巨演，这段话极其深刻。Uh, actually, the、uh, the sentence in the right color actually is the topic sentence of the whole、uh, drama, but、uh, it was deleted、uh, in purpose、uh, on purpose、uh, in both Mei Lan Fang's、uh, version of Mu Dan Ting and also Bai Xianyong's version of Mu Dan Ting. 这么家里有一个好的花园。作为主人公的杜丽娘，她居然不知道，这里边就暗藏着一个非常深的寓意。So there is such wonderful garden in her own home, uh, uh, in 杜丽娘 s own home, but 杜丽娘 uh didn't know any of uh that garden before. So that uh make us wonder why her parents didn't tell 杜丽娘 about this garden. 杜丽娘是这个家里的小姐，她为什么父母不让她知道这么漂亮的后花园呢？而且这个后花园居然是她的春香丫头发现的
Yeah, such beautiful garden, why Duni Liang could, uh, couldn't know about it? And uh, the reason she knows about this garden is because of her maid, uh, Chen Xiang, suddenly find, uh, find this garden and let her know. 好, 我们来看这一段, so this uh this girl in red uh, costume, she is the maid Chen Xiang, and she uh pretend she is angry because uh the first time he told uh her uh, Du Liang about the garden, uh Du Liang didn't um pay attention to. Fumukosun uh, the reason Du Liang's parents choose uh, uh, not to tell her about the secret garden is because uh, Du Liang, as a lady, grew up in a federal bureaucratic family. Uh, her parents naturally wants her uh, want her to be uh, a lady only knows about books, uh, but not uh, influenced by some bad elements. 对女子的四德的要求，这里边其中就有一个叫女工。Uh, so here uh, brings uh, some ideas about the four um, four principles of women in ancient China. One of the uh, four uh, principles is called 女工, uh, which means uh, the uh, the female uh, literally means uh, uh, women's work. 杜丽娘的母亲正是按照古代的这样一个传统，也就是四德来要求她的女儿。So, uh, Du Liang's mother, uh, wants, uh, her daughter to follow these four principles from, uh, 福德, uh, 福言, 福功, 福荣, uh, so, uh, these four principles and, uh, here are the four principles. The first one is uh, 福德, which means uh, the morality of a woman. And uh, the second one is uh, 父, uh, 父言, which means the uh, proper talk uh, of uh, women. And the third one is the proper look uh, of women. And the last one is uh, the proper work of women. So, Du Liang's father 他的老婆说：“你怎么管的你的孩子啊？怎么是这个样子呢？就是你不是说长相花银科女工吗？可是你的孩子白天睡觉，哪像个四德的姑娘啊？”So once uh, Du Liang's father saw uh, his daughter uh, was sleeping when she doing her work, uh, he became extremely angry about her, his daughter and uh, shout to Du Liang's mother. Uh, how did you teach your girl? Why she is? Uh, why you let her uh, sleeping while she is doing her work? So he just hired a maid, Fu Ru Chen Zui Liang, to strictly this Du Li Niang. So he decided to uh, invite a teacher to teach her daughter Du Li Niang. When this Chen Zui Liang asked Du Bao, "What did you teach your girl?" He said, "You don't talk about anything. Just talk about the Shi Jing." So uh, when the 
the, t- the new teacher Chen Zuiliang asked uh, Du Niliang's father Du Bao about what kind of book should he teach uh, Du Niliang. So Du Bao uh, emphasized uh, Du Niliang should not should only read uh, books like uh, Shi Jing, the songs, uh, and especially the Guanju piece. Why? Because 这个官居在古代就认为是后妃之德，它是正妇女之行之体之德的，所以用这样一种方式，不让他接触外在自然美丽的世界，来训练他内修的这种功夫。啊、uh, ，because uh the reason uh Du Du Bao choose Guan Ju as a piece to the teacher to teach her daughter, his daughter, because uh, these pieces mainly talk about the morality of uh, royal wives, and uh, by following these rules, uh, uh, his girl can grow up as a very good lady, and he is also afraid of if her uh, if his uh, daughter follow the rules uh, of nature will lead some. Uh, Bad influence on her. 我们来看第十一出词界。So、这个，他讲的就是这个。他年幼无知，就是他母亲指责杜丽娘年幼无知。什么年幼无知呢？就是凡少年女子，最不宜艳妆，戏游空冷无人之处。这都是这个吹丫头、吹香、逗引他。<笑> Yeah, so in the eleventh uh, thing uh, of uh, uh, Mu Dan Ting, so th- there's a, th- this thing called commandment of kind. So when Du Ni Liang's mother uh, knows her girl one uh, is wandering in the backyard, and uh, she uh, she says, uh, Du Ni Liang's mother says, all the young girls they shouldn't uh, dressed up in this uh, empty cold places. 我们再来看第十六处。结病这一出，杜母就直接的骂这个春香，啊，都是你个小奴才逗我的姑娘，本来就是什么呢？烟花惹事，阴艳成招，就花园里的烟花惹事，阴艳成招，云月之情，还不给我跪下，你这个小丫头，害我的姑娘。嗯、mm. ，so um， 杜丽娘 mother 啊，她呃 ，scold。Uh, du Niliang's maid, uh, Chun Xiang, and said, uh, "Your little blanket. Uh, it is always the uh, the flowers and uh, the flowers and uh, beautiful birds and the cloud and the moon always uh, allows the young girls knows about the feeling of love. Uh, you should kneel. Uh, you should kneel, and I will punish you." 哎，这就是我们平常说的小姑娘朝花引。蝶，这就是同行同构的交感。So this is、uh, what we always say in Chinese that uh, uh, the young, the beautiful young girl, they always、uh, attract some bees and、uh, a butterfly because of their beauty.、Uh, so that uh, that uh, there is a term called 同行同构 which is related to human nature and、uh, beautiful、uh, scenery. So. 杜丽娘的母亲下面这段话就特别耐人寻味。So the next sentence of、uh, Du Niliang's mother is very intriguing. 这后花园中冷静，少去闲行。Uh, the backyard of our home is cold and quiet. You shouldn't wander there a lot. 万物都在复苏，花开花朵，多么漂亮的一个世界！可是，杜母却说这个里边是冷静的，显然是不是那么回事的。So, uh, as we all know, the garden is in spring, so they it is blossoming and beautiful. But the the Du Niliang's mother said it is quiet and cold. So that is uh the opposite of the truth. So why the mother said that? 花开花落的这个世界。对于一个怀春的杜丽娘而言，她哪是冷静的问题，完全就是春喧恼人、春情难遣之处。嗯、um, ，as a girl like Du Niliang, uh, her heart full of feeling of, of love. So, uh, this blossoming word means uh, love to her, means uh, 
also means annoying to her. 好，我们下面看梅兰芳演的这个《春轩恼人》这个唱。So let's uh oh sorry, let's have a look at of the scene played by Mei Lanfang. Let's look at her finger. Let's look at her finger. She is drawing circles on the table. This performance, Mei Lanfang has mentioned before. A young girl with that kind of violence, that kind of completely unprofessional spirit, is really hard to express in words. 只能用一个画圈儿的方式，这个圈儿，这个环儿是无端的，没有切口的，是永远走不出来的一个困境。So, uh, Mei Lanfang has interpreted this, um, uh, uh, very annoying, uh, way of interpret, uh, spring. Uh, she, uh, Mei Lanfang, uh, tries many, many ways, and finally he decided to use uh, this drawing circle move to show the. Uh, to, to show the mind of uh, Du Li Niang. 由此可见，杜丽娘的父母不让她知道后花园，实际上是对她的少女的身心和天性的极大的限制和囚禁。Uh, so from this we can see that uh, the reason uh, Du Li Niang's parents chose to not to tell her about the secret garden is uh, extreme restraint and a cap. Uh, capacity of uh, the nature of a young girl and uh, her body and her mind. 那么由杜丽娘这样一个经历，我们可以折射出明代的妇女，她们受到的限制是极其严厉的。这表现在两个方面：第一个就是观念的压力，第二个就是身体的束缚。呃、uh, ，so from 杜丽娘 s experience, we can. Uh, see the strict rules uh, date back to Ming Dynasty uh, to the to the women at that time. Uh, this uh, restraint came from two parts. The first part part is the pressure of morality, and the second part is the uh, restraint of the body, the female's body. So, the pressure of morality is mainly referring to the pressure the Han Dynasty and the relationship of the Ming so uh, the pressure of morality came from uh, two concepts that uh, date back to uh, Han Dynasty. The first one, Zhen Jie Guan, chastity, and the second one is uh, a paragon, Lie Nu Guan. Zhen Jie, this Zhen, in the Chinese language, it means it's the wisdom. It's the wisdom, 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 所以真在古代指的就是妇女的贞洁，它与忠和正互训。再进一步引申呢，也就是贞女不更二夫。呃、uh, ，the original meaning of Zhen came from uh the ritual practice, and then it become uh it become the uh, it has a meaning. Uh, that you should make your mind uh, stable, and uh, uh, then uh, it means uh, the the women, uh, the unmarried women, and uh, it also means uh, chastity, uh, which is associated with the concept of loyalty and honesty. Uh, yeah. So the most important part of this is a, a, a woman with chastity shouldn't have two husbands. 那么真女不跟二夫，到了周书，就是清白守节，曰真，所以她成了汉代刘向的《列女传》所提出的以专一为真的思想基础。呃、uh, ，so， 呃、uh, ，the 
uh, the gen, uh, the concept of gen should uh, include a clean and chaste. Um, uh, clean and chaste. Okay. 那么到了宋代陈朱理学我们都知道叫饿死是小尸劫是大就观念就更加的盛行而且这种观念到了南宋朝廷以后不断的加以强化尤其是一三九八年民国开国皇帝朱元璋首次对这些真女进行精表那么真节的观念到了明代就蔚为盛行 So in Song Dynasty, uh, because of the influence of Chengzhu uh, Li Xue, so there is a uh, concept that you shouldn't lose, lose your uh, ch chastity uh, even you are facing uh, dying because of hungry. And in the Song uh, South Song Dynasty, it started to, the, gov the central government started to face for those uh, women with chastity. And uh, especially in, uh, in the Ming Dynasty, the, uh, the, fir the very first uh, emperor of Ming Dynasty, Zhu Yuanzhang, start, also started to face those women with chastity. 好,我们来看明史。第一百八十九列女载有很多这样的列女的故事我们来看这个故事彭和妻失事就是这个彭和还有个妻子叫失事在郑德元年这个和呢得了病不起这个和呢就握着他的老婆这个失事的手说哎呀鸡背肾知必
山东的安丘县志。这个安丘县志里边有一个《列女传》，记载的贞洁的妇女有二十九人，其中寻夫死者有十五人。然后过了七十四年，那么这个贞洁妇女已经达到了五十人，还是这个县。而且为寻夫而死的人有二十八人。So in a general record of、uh, Anqiu County,、uh, it record that in、uh, the sixteen,、uh, the seventeen year of、uh, Wanli regime、uh, of Ming Dynasty, there are twenty、uh, nine people, twenty、uh, nine women. Uh, was record because of their chastity, and、uh, among these twenty-nine women, uh, there are fifteen、uh, um, women died after their、uh, husband, and、uh, nine of them they are of- officially freed, and uh, only seventy-eight, seventy-four、uh, uh, years later,、uh, the same the same place, and this number,、uh, those women died of、uh, because of chastity. Uh, have gone to twenty-eight, and the total number become fifty.、Uh, 我们再看晚清的释弘宝，他有一部书叫《这个闽杂记》《闽小记》。那么在这部书里面，他就记载他十四年在福建记载的这些事。当时的福建的旧俗是以家有贞女结夫为上。渔民虽有搭台死结之势，就专门，这你你老公死了以后，专门搭一个台，让这个女的上这个台，啊，然后让他们当着大众的面、家族的面，被迫父母兄弟皆破这个女人，也就是守寡的这个女人，死去，而且搭在什么地方呢？搭在集市上，人多的地方，搭个高台悬素佛，临时设计，把这个女的，也就是这个寡妇扶上去。父母皆跪拜在地，等这个女的死了，大家吹吹打打的回去。这个族上的人觉得很有面子。呃、uh, ，there， yeah， there is another、uh, record、uh, from a、uh, late Qing dynasty、uh, about this a very similar scene、uh, that there is、uh, in in the book of、uh, record of Min a、uh, Min Zaji. Uh, there's an old custom in Fuzhou, and、uh, all the family they are、uh, they are very proud of their women with chastity, chastity, and、uh, all those stupid、uh, ordinary people they even build up very high、uh, platform to use this platform. Uh, uh, they 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 ask their women to die on this platform. And、uh, even though even some、uh, some young girl, they haven't married, but they engage in、uh, in some relationship with their fiance. But if their fiance dies, their parents and their brothers will ask this young girl die after uh, her uh, fiance. So uh, some uh, usually this platform will build in very clo-、uh, crowded places. And、uh, we'll、uh, we'll have a, a place for the young girl to harm them theirself. 于是洪宝所记载的相印证的就是同治八年，福建的长乐县志有这么个记载，完全一样。说闽俗有夫亡无子者，往往则数百户空旷之区，也是在一个大众广通之下，高筑一台，悬赤绳于梁上，然后足阴长幼，次第归拜，也是这样的。然后把这个环儿套上这个寡妇，然后旁观者这这啊以为荣。Yeah, so it also happens in Fujian province. In the general record of Changle、uh, County,、uh, there is a very similar tragedy that、um, there is a woman without a son. After their、uh, their pa-、uh, their husband died, they will build up a very high platform and、uh, have a right rope on、uh, on on a on, on a place and、uh, let the women uh, hung uh, hung hung herself there. And all、uh, those uh, relatives、uh, they will bow down under that、uh, platform. And other all、uh, all the audience、uh, when they saw this scene. They will very be very proud and、uh, freeze it. 我们来看这幅图，这是古代
记录这个场面的一幅图，把这灯关了，哎，关了。你看，这旁边全是围观的老百姓、族人，然后这里专门搭了一个台，为他死搭了一个台。So this is the platform。然后他站在上面，然后用个绳子把自己当众吊死，这就族人感觉到极大的荣耀。So the woman has to uh put the rope on her neck and use this way to hang herself and.、Uh, When she did this, all the、uh, family members and relatives they will, they will feel very proud of her. 那么之所以会出现如此悲惨的事情，这实际上是与当时统治者鼓励这样一种所谓的贞洁观非常有关系。我们来看明史，明星作为条规，每一年巡抚都要向上面报告，你这里有多少这样的洁妇烈女。然后，如果真的是很了不起的杰夫烈女，就要赐她一个祠堂来祭祀，赐之就树，牌坊来表彰。这样的话呢，照耀井里的是所以穷乡僻壤的女人，全部都愿意以真白字体。呃、uh, ，so in a in。In the history of Ming Dynasty, there are some、uh, certain rules throughout this、uh, chastity.、Uh, for instance, uh, if uh, there is a very influential case,、uh, the government will, the central government will give a、uh, shrine to those、uh, women with chastity, and uh, some uh, less influential, they will give a memorial arch、uh, or flag to、uh, for these women. Ah,、uh, so this 后面就出现了很多牌坊。由时间的关系，我就不多说。这是中国最著名的牌坊，尤其是在中国的安徽出现了大量的这样一些劫夫烈女的牌坊。So there are a lot of arches in Anhui province, uh, in memory of uh the chastity. 在最后一个牌坊，曾经出现了这么一行字，令人哀叹不已，也就是在徽州府属孝贞节烈的。有六万五千零七十八米。Uh, so there are sixty-five thousand and seventy-eight women、uh, was in memory because of their chastity in Huizhou. So it's a very cold number. 那么不仅仅是统治者的一种提倡，另一方面也是社会风气对妇女身体的一种束缚。这种束缚就包括对妇女正常生理、心理的欲望的一种压抑和贬斥。首先就是对规格观念上的。啊、uh, ，so uh for the、uh, for the women, it is not only the constraint of their body, their uh physically and uh, psychologically uh desire, but also um the constraint、uh, of the The idea of 规格 the ladies、uh, are artistic. 规格所存，我们看大家熟悉的宋代词人李清照，他有一首很著名的词叫《声声伴》。So there is a very famous、uh, poetess in Song Dynasty. Her name is Li Qingzhao, and there's a、uh, famous piece talk about this、uh, 规规格 life,、uh, the life of ladies artistic. 那么这里边最令人痛苦。就是这几个字，当时的妇女守着窗儿独自。We should、uh, pay especially attention to the sentence 守着守着窗儿独独自 ，which means、uh, by the window along、uh, I I point。所谓守着窗儿独自，这个独自，也就是当时的妇女在出嫁之前不出于闺门。等到二八，也就是十六岁，及及这个及是什么意思呢？也就是十五岁盘起头发来，表明她是成年女性。Uh, so according to the feudal uh, uh, principles, the, the girl could, cannot go out uh, before she tied up her,、uh, their hairs. So that's why they are alone at ho- their home by the window. 问题是这个守着窗儿的窗。是个什么窗呢？呃、uh, ，so let's explore this window. 呃、uh, ，in in those portraits. 李清照的时代，宋代窗是什么样，我们见不到。可是明清时期，现在留在中国有大量的这样的建筑。我们来看
，这个窗是个什么窗？这是在抚州金溪县竹桥镇的窗。Uh, let's see some photos about the window uh, date back to Ming and Qing Dynasty, which is to, to up, uh, upward. Chuang zai na? Let's find uh, where is the window. This chuang is very special. I hope you will go to China and see this chuang. Okay, let's look at the chuang on the inside. So it's a very special type of window. If you go to China someday, you should definitely explore this kind of window. This chuang is all of the chuang. 也就是它仅仅是外面是小，里面大。它仅仅是用来采光的，也就是它根本不是让妇女看世界，尤其不能看男人。So this kind of window is only、uh, for lightning, not for the、uh, women to see the man outside. 哎，这是我用闪光灯拍的，平常可没有这么亮它。Uh, usually, because of the outside of the window is very small, so it's very dark inside. 大白天可能就黑乎乎。你看这个窗，实际上只能看见上面的网，连外面的天都看不见。So we can only see a very small piece through this small window. You can you can even not see the sky. 哎，这就是它的整个空间，就是女子未出嫁之前的女子的空间就是这样。So this is the very small space of uh unmarried uh girls. 这个空间实际上是与外界隔绝的，唯一的一个通道就是在这个后堂里边有一个极其隐蔽的梯子。Oh, so there is a very, uh, very, very small stairs that connect the 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 ladies' room to the main hall, and the yeah. 这个梯子你们发现有什么特别的地方吗 ？Have you uh noticed anything strange? Uh, up the stairs. 对，你看这个地方，这几片下面有三个梯的这个平面，不是没有，而是有意把它抽掉了。也就是没有出格的妇女是不能下这个梯子的，就守着窗儿独自就是这个不能下梯子的。So, uh, if you can see, there are a lot of missing uh steps on those uh stairs. 那么不能下梯子。他怎么吃啊？怎么喝呀、啊？怎么拉沙呀、啊？于是，就在这个板子下面挖了锅盖大这么一个洞。呃、uh, ，so how can those uh young girls uh get uh uh go uh downstairs uh if there is no stairs? So they they kind of have a hole to use this hole. They can bring food up and also.、Yeah. 然后用一根绳子，下面吊一个篮子，把他吃的东西。Yeah, so they will use a basket with a rope and use this basket to bring food up and bring her waist up down. 你看，长期这种污渍就留下来。So you can see the dirt on those uh those places. 哎，这就是女人，这个妇女，在她的这个闺阁里。唯一看见的就是他厅堂里的他的父亲，顶多还有他的兄弟。So this is the perspective from a girl, uh, in her room. She can only see her, uh, her fam, uh, her family members. 他真正采光的地方就是面向客厅的这一面，窗棂。So there is uh some windows uh towards the main hall that she can get some light from the main hall. 所以，我们现在就要重新反思我们过去文人给我们虚构的这个规格的甜蜜性。So, uh, there are so many uh liter li that they kind of give us a very tender picture about uh 规格 but actually, in fact, it's it's not like that. 我们经常文人笔下用的是相规相格，多么香艳呐、啊！ Uh, always we use uh, xiang gui and xiang ge, uh, the rooms with uh, frequent uh, to, to show uh, the ladies' room, but actually it's not. Actually, for Tang Xianzu, it's, um, it's pretty obvious that it is fake uh, fantasy of those uh, scholars. 这就是唐玄祖在他的戏里讲的，在幽闺自怜，这个幽闺是深暗的、寒冷的闺
是非常令人悲哀的，被遮蔽的贵族。呃、uh, ，instead of uh that uh beautiful and uh uh pretty uh room, uh it is a very deep, cold and a lonely place. 也就是贵格就像一个牢笼一样，限制了当时少女的行为。也像枷锁一样锁住了他们的青春。So those、uh, rooms is not、uh, is like a chains and also is like a prison to those young girls. 那么现在汤显祖的故乡抚州还留下了四十多个牌坊，其中有七个就是节烈牌坊，这是其中的一个戊戌的。Here are some.、Uh, Uh, arts uh, of chastity in Tang Xianzu's hometown, Fuzhou. 哎，这是一黄的，全是牌坊。这是象山的，这是金溪的，这是崇仁的，这是刘坑的，这是普唐，也是金溪的。那么最著名的就是这个牌坊。This is one of the most famous one. 这是在临川县唐桥镇的一个牌坊， yeah. 是清代。道光十三年，也就是一八三四年，建的一个曾氏节孝牌坊。It can date back to uh the Qing regime of Qing dynasty, uh in memory of chastity. 这就是鄙人，<笑>在这个牌坊拍的。这所有的图片都是我在现场拍的。那么相传，就是这个牌坊的主人，他。找了一个十八岁、十六岁的女子曾氏，生了两个儿子。可是第二个儿子刚刚出生，这个黄姓的主人就死去了。这个曾氏当时只有十八岁，她含辛茹苦把两个儿子拉扯大，两个儿子后来都很成器，都成了万贯家财之主。于是两个儿子都很感念自己的母亲，常年的拉扯他们，付出了极大的心血。于是。他们就建了一个别墅。我们来看。So all these photos was from Professor Zhou's field work, and this is one of the most famous one in memory of a a a, a woman. Uh, her husband died uh when the woman is uh eighteen years old, and she raised her son two sons uh by her own. 这就是他们建的这个别墅，这旁边就是个牌坊。那么这个别墅是以他父亲的字来立命名的，叫立宅。他父亲的字叫立宅。啊、uh, ，so the, those two sons、uh, built not only a arch in memory of her,、uh, their mother's、uh, chastity, but also a villa、uh, called 立宅 which named after、uh, their father. 立宅别墅四个字。立宅啊，立、uh, 宅别墅，立宅 villa。那么为了表达。儿子对母亲的爱，两个儿子就向皇帝申请，为他的母亲立一个牌坊。按照当时的规定，女子只有在二十岁之前守寡，才能够立牌坊。所以当时的光绪皇帝就恩准给他建这个牌坊。Uh, according to the law of Qing Dynasty, only women, uh, die, uh, their their husband died before the women's twenties. Uh, they they can build uh the arch for the women. So uh, the Guangxu Emperor uh, allowed this. 哎，这就是圣旨建的这个牌坊。然后这里有一行字，啊，这里有一行字，翻过来念，就是这个字：金表黄兴龙之妻，曾氏节孝坊。这就是男主人，他死了以后，他的妻子曾氏先效仿。啊、uh, ，so here are some words that shows this uh arches is in memory of 黄兴龙 wife 曾氏啊、uh, ，because of her chastity。可是，这个坊在建的过程之中，最上面的那个顶用四根绳子往上拉，突然间有两根绳子断了，最上面那个顶哗掉下来，差点把建工匠都砸死。So there are four ropes、uh, try to bring a, a part、uh, on the top of this arch, but、uh, two of the ropes are broken. So the the part almost crushed some people、uh, on the ground. 于是工匠就怀疑，这个立牌坊的女人是不是真的真紧呀？于是就质问他的两个儿子，他两个儿子就非常尴尬，马上就跪在他母亲面前。
，母亲啊，你是不是真的有问题？你不贞洁。他母亲就非常委屈，说我没有，一直都非常贞洁呀、啊。哦，我想起来了，可能是有一天呐、啊，我早上看见两个鸡子在打蛋，也就是交配。So, uh, so the because of this accident, many people start to um question if they this woman. Uh, have the chastity, so uh, the the women start to think by herself. What what happened to me? So she suddenly realized that she just saw uh, a cock uh, mating this morning. So that's why those ropes broken. 于是呢，他就让他两个儿子赶快把他抬到这个牌坊面前，对着上苍说：“哎呀，老天爷了，我一直很贞洁的。如果我不贞洁，你让这个牌坊倒下来，把我压死吧。”说话之间，这个上面的顶呼。上去放正。So, uh, the so the old woman asked her two sons to burn her to that spot, and then she said to the heaven, "Uh, if uh I I'm not clean on chest, uh, you can let the the building part crush me." But uh, uh, just after she said the word, uh, the 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 part uh goes up naturally. 实际上，这个故事表面表面上在包包养这个。这个真实，其实恰恰是对妇女最正常的生理、心理欲望的一种压抑和戕害。这就是非常虚伪的、非礼貌式的礼教。呃、uh, ，It seems that it's a phrase of those women. Uh, yeah, we have to. 好，最后。Yeah. yeah, let's go to the conclusion directly. 那么有以上，我们讲的这些事实，血淋淋的事实。我们就要考虑一个概念，这就是场域，也就是我们每一个人都离不开自己生存的特定时代和特定的空间。那么，对杜立良而言，也就是从汉代以来所形成的节类观。啊、uh, ，So we have to consider uh field as the background of all this uh uh things happened in the ancient in ancient China. So especially for the Du Niliang case, we need to consider uh, the, uh, the chastity, the concept of chastity and the uh, uh, Grattan uh, concept uh, which Du Niliang lived. 那么十八世纪有一位德国的著名的诗人叫赫尔德林，他说过一个话，叫歌唱即实存。这个歌唱这个实存 ，dazen 这个词，在英语里面就是病。病这个词不是中国汉语的是什么，不是这个判断词。而是人的在场，出离自身，也就是作为人的存在，它永远是一种非现实的一种存在。它只有使自己真正的出场、出离自身，展现出自己对这个世界的一种感觉的时候，这个人才为其为人。Uh, according to a very famous Germany uh, philosopher, uh, Hordlin, uh, there's a sentence called "singing is being." So in the Chinese context, that uh, only uh, only singing is a product of subject's emotional experience. Meanwhile, the subject being is embodied appearance of the subject singing experience. 那么杜丽娘的歌，也就是她的梦。她在人世间，她没有自己的生存，没有自己的在场，只有殷勤成梦，她才成为她自己，成为。忘记生存的一个现实。So for Du Niliang, uh, her songs or her singing is the dream, and uh, she, uh, she, she didn't uh being without the the singing. She only have the, uh, the sadness. 所以，他是一个敢于承担自己的生命死亡的一个人，因为他的死亡是遵从的天授之性，不惜以死来相守，也就是遵从他自己的性，自己的爱。So uh, for Du Niliang, she uh, she didn't choose uh, being. Instead, she chose to uh, she, she chose her love and her feelings. So, Tang Xianzu's Mu Dan Ting, is in such a way to express the era of that time women, unexpectedly, giving them a sacred, transcendent way. So Tang Xianzu's Mu Dan Ting. Uh, in that sense, give those women like Du Niliang uh, ways to uh, express their uh, themselves. 我们再看最后一个图像，也就是他的三生路。
Uh, let's see the last piece of.那么杜林阳由生而死又复生这正是他今天的弃鬼神的三生路也就是他在现实生活中的生其实是非生而他由梦而死却恰恰是往生也就是病最后他开关绝坟死而复生也就是再生重生即现实和梦境的重合之生